Welcome back. We're live on SABC3. This is your feel-good breakfast show. In the kitchen, ready to get our taste buds. Mm, just mouth-watering, just getting them ready to absorb and devour what Sarah Graham is about to prepare for us right now. Of course, cookbook author and TV chef. And we're also joined by Mo Flavor, who I remember, I did a gig with him last year, and he was bragging to everyone about how amazing a cookie is. Wow. So we're about to put it to the test. So Sarah, all you do right now is direct and tell okay. Mo what to do. He will do. He will do the cooking. Okay, so I, my hands are not getting dirty. <laughs> but okay. so what inspired this recipe, Sarah? Um, so I love figs. Yes. They are in season in February. Mm -hmm. February means figs. They're only in season for about five minutes. So, um, <laughs> so I do as much as I can with them. I love rosemary, um, and rosemary and figs are really good friends. So it's a fig and rosemary crumble. Ooh, fantastic. Um, fantastic. And it's from my new book, which is coming out in April. So very exciting. Fantastic stuff. Let's get right to it. Okay. So, you need to head to the pot. Head All to the right, pot head to the pot. Okay, <laughs> we're going to make an orange and rosemary syrup, which we drizzle over the crumble. Okay. So, grab um, two sprigs of rosemary, please, and okay. into the pot. Here's the pot. Yep. One, okay. two. And then, you can count, which is good. Yeah, some orange juice. <laughs> All right, orange juice. It can all go in. All of it. Why are you right? shaking them? I mean, just, yeah. you know, just... Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. and then we've got some sticky brown muscovado sugar. Okay, how many spoons is it? Um, two level tablespoons, please. Okay. Yeah. I love sugar, so forgive my heap. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, there we go. We have more flavor. We've already gone off course. Add more okay. flavor, that's cool. All right, okay. there we go, there we go, okay. there we go. So give it a mix. We want the give sugar to so dissolve. So this is all to prepare the syrup, right? Yeah, syrup. All right. Okay, and then... Looks pretty okay. Yeah, just wait till the sugar's not so grainy. And then you can taste, don't double dip. So I taste? Yeah, you can taste. Just once though, just yeah, once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me just do this. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like something I've had before. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while that um, just continues heating up and the mm -hmm. sugar melts, we're going to make the crumble. All right. So you can move over to this bowl. This is All the right. critical part, yeah. These are really, really up. pretty little figs. Um, so we're making a crumble topping. So please add to the bowl our oats. There we go. So some oats. Yeah. All of it? Or uh, just yes, a suggestion? Yes. All of it? No, we, all of it. You see right. what we do on TV, Mo, is that we measure out the ingredients. <laughs> oh. And so we make sure that we have enough in the bowl. So For know, people like me, yeah. know, who are right. bad yeah. with yeah. measuring. So you all don't right. have to pretend you know how much it is. It just goes in. There we go. So um, Ground almonds. Okay, all of yeah. it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And all by right. the way, while Mo is preparing our crumble, you SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 and we'll send mm -hmm. you the link to the recipe as well as the ingredient okay. list for you to make right. your own roasted fig and rosemary crumble. Cinnamon and ground ginger. All at the same time. Yeah, little spicy crumble. <laughs> uh -huh, all at the same time. And then I would start off with about two thirds of the butter. And then you need to feather it all together with your fingers in the bowl. So, so it gets, I even... no, add the butter. Get in. the butter in there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, get is get that the enough? butter in there. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Is okay. That yeah. Enough? Yeah. And then so now, now it gets so all of it together. In. Yeah. Spoon okay. down and then. Okay. Yep. Woohoo! <laughs> Yep. He's really having fun, isn't he? <laughs> now this I've never done before. <laughs> See, that's, you, you've got to give it some air as well, are you? It's get it mixed but you've got to try this at home at least yeah. once. Eh? And I know people think crumble's a little bit old-fashioned, but I love it. I love crumble. It's, it's a great dessert yeah. after a, a beautiful dinner to yeah. have something really I mean, so, so well presented and delicious. So yeah. what's going to happen very, very quickly? You're going to have the figs in the... Yeah, into, oh, the, into the bowl, and then the crumble goes on top of the figs. They go into the oven for mm -hmm. about 12, 15 minutes until they are golden and they smell amazing. Mm -hmm. And then they come out, you plate them up, drizzle over some of the syrup, and you're good Beautiful to go. Beautiful stuff. All right, while Mo okay. does that, let's quickly show you how we got to this part of uh, the recipe. And hopefully by the time we come back, those figs will be in that little uh, yeah, you oven could, you tray. Could. You and can start. And then we <laughs> hope, we hope, we hope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So take a look at this quickly. Place the figs cut upside into an oven-proof okay, dish. One. Mix butter, almond flour, oats, nuts, sugar, cinnamon, and ginger into a food processor. In a small saucepan, heat the sugar, juice, and rosemary until just before it simmers. Then remove from the heat and allow to steep for a few minutes. Drizzle half the syrup over the figs, then top with a teaspoon of crumble mixture. Roast for 10 minutes. Serve with a drizzle of rosemary syrup, a dollop of mascarpone, and a sprinkle of chopped mint. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword SALATI to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs, T's and C's apply.
So do SMS the keyword Salati to 33728 and we'll send you the ingredients list as well as a link to the recipe <laughs> so that you can make your own roasted fig and rosemary crumble. And look at it, beautifully presented there in the finished product. But clearly you can see Jorge, more flavor came from Because <laughs> look at the one that he prepared. It's like you were, you were doing it like they were putting together that quarter, ne? You were just, I mean, you on. wanted as much of the crumble as possible on top of the fig. Listen, you, you don't pay attention to detail that much when you're making a quarter, you see. This is true. But this here true. it's about the dimensions, the edges. But he oh. put his whole heart into it, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, sure, sure. What's, what's the best dishes you can make? Well, I can make pretty much anything. Chicken a la king, beef stew, uh, spaghetti and mince. Listen to you. I mean, I can go on. And okay. of course, uh, bride meat. <laughs> nice one. Sarah, thank you very, very much Thanks, for guys. being in our kitchen Thanks, this morning. Guys. And Thanks of course, you at home can SMS the keyword Salati to 33728 to get the ingredients list and the link to the recipe sent to your phone. And you'll also be automatically entered into the competition to stand a chance of winning one copy of Sarah Graham Home and of course, one copy of Sarah Graham Smitten. So SMSs do cost one rand fifty. No free SMSs and T's and C's apply. Those can be found on expressoshow.com. Very, very excited. And good luck with Thank the new you. book coming out. Thank you. Absolutely. Right now, let's head on over to the lounge where Graham is standing by with Luke Bax for a nature conservation conversation. Blended with caramel syrup, Salati Muscovado is delicious in brownies, gingerbread, fruitcake, and sprinkled over porridge. Salati, always good, always sweet.